My boy's in trouble now. We're gonna rage here. And I think he's cooked. Right? What does he play? What does he play here? Log's not gonna really do anything. You're just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> he's so cooked. He is so cooked. He's so cooked. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Evil Pekka is so good. Ew, what's up gamers? It's Jerky here. And today we're going to be using one of the most disgusting decks I have ever seen inside of Clash Royale. And really, I'm not just saying that for like clickbait or view bait, but this 3.0 Evo Pekka cycle with four spells is bonkers. And I know what you're thinking. Jerky, four spells in a single deck. That's horrible. It is. And it's hard to put into words, but so many people are trying to counter the Evo P.E.K.K.A. So this is almost like a counter to the counter by having four spells. It just sets you up for success. It works. It's also hilarious seeing your opponent's reactions when they realize that you are running an Evo P.E.K.K.A. cycle deck with four different spells. And like I said, this deck is crazy and it is so much fun to play. So I'm so excited to show you the gameplay. That is enough yapping from me. Let's get into some games. All right up here against the King. And honestly, if you don't have <clears throat> Evo P.E.K.K.A., don't, you probably shouldn't run this deck. Basically, this deck kind of revolves around you, like, hyping up your Evo P.E.K.K.A., trying to get as many as possible, low-key. Yeah, he just does that. That's interesting. I'm gonna do this because those wall breakers are threatening. Um, nice. We get the ghost out of hand. Let's go rage as well. Okay. That, that'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Let's go bats here. Okay. Wow, my man is cycling like a maniac. Okay, we're gonna do this. So he's running RG. Um, RG Fisherman as well kind of makes things a little more complicated than we would like. Almost get a wall breaker connection, but that berry's too strong. Basically, you would think Pekka would do really good against the RG. We kind of just need to be careful with the Fisherman. Dang, right off the bat, he just eats <laughs> those bats. We're going to continue to pressure him. This will force out like a Fisherman or something. Yeah, okay, Ghost as well. That's fine. Okay, might just go for a Void on this. Okay, I need to be careful because he's definitely going to Fisherman away my Pekka. We're going to do this. And then be ready for the fisherman to draw, probably. Okay, nope. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna. I'm curious to see how he stops this. I guess he has fishermen, so we're gonna pressure with wall breakers, and we're gonna rage when he drops the fish boy. Yeah, let's rage all this up. Great rage, and those wall breakers are gonna double connect, and he needs to play something on the Becca, and that's tower down. Oh my gosh, I feel like Bro was just like flabbergasted. I don't know if we can defend this like all too well, to be completely honest. We'll see what he does. I hope he pops the ability. Because then I can just get, like, a free zap here. Oh, never mind. Okay, not too bad. I mean, I feel like I could have defended that a little better than I did. Arrows actually would have been a really good play there. But that's okay. We have the Evo P.E.K.K.A. coming up. And he still needs to spend to take the tower. So that's really good for us. Okay, Log comes down. Let's just drop our Evo P.E.K.K.A. <clears throat> so here's the thing. We kind of need to play around the Fisherman. Because the Fisherman is going to be what gives us a lot of problems. I notice bats give him, like, a good amount of grief. So we're going to go ahead and get ready with the bats in the back. Might even preemptively, like, arrows here. Let's try and predict, like, fishermen or something. Okay, no, he goes for that instead. We're gonna go bang, bang, bang. And we're actually gonna get a second P.E.K.K.A. down. And, uh, I think my boy's in trouble. Yep! Oh my god, we caught the fisherman! We caught the fisherman! He says, well played. Yeah, that's GG's. My man, yeah. We're gonna give him the good game. That's what I was talking about. Oh my gosh, that prediction was crazy. We have double P.E.K.K.A. domination on his tower. GG's to the king. We're gonna hold that W and see you in the next match. Right into our next match here against this player and something else about this deck that's worth noting is like it's very polarizing like you either just like destroy your opponent or they destroy you and a lot of people are like drawn to that um so if that's something that sounds like it's like up your alley then give this deck a chance i have to zap here unfortunate timing there with the princess i'm not gonna lie and unfortunate timing with the matchup i don't really have anything else to play other than this defensive pekka it's fine with me with me though because Pekka gets like zero value going into recruits so it kind of gives us an opportunity to cycle we're probably going to take a lot of damage here depending on how he chooses to play this okay we're going to do this and then we're going to go guards here as well just to mitigate the damage and guards will be very very good on the counter push as well i'm going to be ready for like a princess or something we'll see how he plays this okay be ready here okay we're going to go rage here Nice. Rage Pekka is really, really, uh, really, really powerful. So, all right, good, def good defense by him. Playing around the re recruits is just going to be very, very, very annoying. I'm going to void here just because I don't really have anything else better for the princess. And I, whatever you do when you are playing against recruits, do not cycle your Pekka offensively. You will lose like 90% of the time. We're just going to do this. It'll be an easy defense. We're going to eat like one shot. Um, 
hear me out. Like, that is a bad play. We're going to do this. We're trying to save my arrows if I can. And guards provide a better uh, counter push. Might just go for the Demolisher or something like that. I'm going to go as well with Wall Breakers because it's still very threatening. Yeah, see, he has to spend something else. Yeah, perfect. Of course, not the arrow, so that's really good for me. I'm going to go Baths. Like I said, I never really want to go for an offensive P.E.K.K.A. Unless you're up a lot of Elixir, then it's like an okay play. So I'm going to try it now. I think we are up a little bit of Elixir. I just need to be careful of the recruits. It's kind of like supporting this can be kind of tough. Okay, we're going to do this. Because you, you know he's going to drop recruits on it. So I think what you need to do is have your Rage ready. You want to go Arrows and Rage because then it, that's going to do help the P.E.K.K.A. DPS down everything. So let's be ready for the recruits. Okay, we're going to go Rage. Bang, bang, bang. We need P.E.K.K.A. to start zapping some things here. Yeah, no. Rest in peace to my P.E.K.K.A. But honestly, we lived, so it could be worse for us, I suppose. Let's go Wall Breakers in the middle. We're going to go Arrows on the right here. Yeah, and somehow we defended that. That's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of broke my own rule, too, of going for the offensive P.E.K.K.A.s, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to go for the, the P.E.K.K.A. here. Kind of reactively, that, those guards are going to get damaged. That's awesome. Of course, not the Goblin Gang. I'm pretty stoked about that. Okay. Let's do this. Cards right away. Could go Bats, too, but... Guards will also provide a nice counter push. I'm not too worried about it. He has no princess in hand either for this P.E.K.K.A. Let's try and block the fisherman in the middle here. Nice, we do actually. So now I can void on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is all this is all dead and gone, unfortunately. But Bat's getting a ton of value. Fishboy ended up living, so that's kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. The swarms are very, very difficult for him to deal with, so that's important for me to know. We're just gonna zap on this. And we actually got a lot of damage on the right. I don't know if you, uh, if that was noticed. Let's do this. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. It's fine. We can rage on this. The four spells is actually really coming in clutch uh, in this matchup. Let's go bats early. Okay. Again, saving arrows for offense, I feel like, is a really important move. Okay. Remember, everything that a P.E.K.K.A. heals, she heals up her HP. Okay, I was hoping to block the fisherman, but we didn't really do that. That's okay. Oh, Pekka's gonna heal up. Pekka's healing, Pekka's healing, Pekka's healing. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, King Tower activation there is crazy. But yeah, look at how much damage we're doing over there. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pressure with wall breakers. And my boy's absolutely cooked. So, <laughs> GG's. Evo Pekka's absolutely unreal. It was only a matter of time. Really good defense, you know. Gotta glaze yourself a little bit. That was nice. And a difficult matchup. We'll hold that W and see you in the next match. All right, up here against... Clem Clam. Clam. a bit. And honestly, when I've been playing this deck, I've been having a blast. It's been a lot of fun. Recruits first play. Sigh. There will be a lot of recruits in this meta just because it's pretty counter P.E.K.K.A. Um, and there's P.E.K.K.A. everywhere. So no surprise that he cycled that first play. Honestly, I'm just going to immediately go for bats, try and force out a spell sooner than later. Yeah. Let's try and block this. Beautiful. Good block by us. We can also zap onto it. Okay, then Pekka should live, which is great. And now I think my man is in trouble here. Let's go ahead and go Rage as well. If we had the healing Pekka here, this would be a very, very good situation. But unfortunately, we do not. Nonetheless, we're fine. We kind of gave him a little, a little scare there. Showed him what we were capable of. Let's drop these guards. So yeah, no surprise he runs the Inferno Dragon. I told you Inferno Dragon's going to be everywhere. We didn't have our Void in Cycle, but Void and Zap and Rage do very, very well against the Inferno Dragon. Good damage there by the guards. Hopefully he cycles his evil recruits. Yeah, okay, nice. He's up a little bit of elixir though, so we'll see how how well we can defend. Like I said, playing the Pekka really, really low is ideal. Hopefully he gives us value on one of the lanes. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a tough defense. Crikey. Okay. That's all I got. So that's going to be tower down most likely. He goes to arrows. Crazy, crazy. I don't think he needed that, to be honest, like, at all. We're gonna zap here. Nice. Well, time zap, honestly. We have rage as well. And, uh, this pack is self-healing, so he probably is gonna lose his tower. So, kind of tit for tat there. Kind of best-case scenario, given the circumstances. And now this pack is gonna heal for every, uh, every skeleton that it, that it finishes off. It heals, so. Kind of a risky play by my guy. He goes for the void. We kind of get, like, a little void block. Okay, the thing is, though, it is really, really, really difficult for us to defend Balloon, but we're in it. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna cycle Pekka, like kind of slow roll, so if he pushes, he's pushing into me. Yeah, that's fine. We do have our Evo Zap in hand, which is really nice. Like I said, I kind of want to save it for the Inferno Dragon though, because otherwise the Inferno Dragon just gets too much value. Okay, we're gonna arrows this over here. That's what we're talking about. We're gonna go like this. Keep that off of my Pekka, otherwise the value is too good. Perfect, so if Pekka lives there, it's really, really good for us. We're actually gonna get a second Pekka down. Get this one, the healing kind. We're gonna rage both of them up, so we have a double raged Pekka coming down at him. We're gonna go arrows as well. Great arrows, oh my gosh, these Pekkas, those Pekkas are full HP, she's healed over 100%. How crazy is that? Okay, we're gonna go zap as well, just to retarget it onto something else. Rage, oh no, 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 it's, it's targeted on the Pekka, are you kidding me? <laughs> Darn it. Dang, that Inferno Dragon ended up getting up a ton of value, but it's dead now, he needs to spend more, we have the zap ready. We're gonna zap onto all of this, because it's kinda, he has to play something. Oh my gosh, Pekka's doing so much damage. <laughs> that was a really good sequence for us. I can't believe that we're like in it. Like you would think that his deck would absolutely destroy mine, right? Like in concept, Royal Recruits, Inferno Dragon, Valkyrie, Balloon, but somehow we're finding a way to defend it. It's just crazy to me. It seriously blows my mind. Okay, we're gonna do this early. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be tough to stop though for us. Let's go bang, bang, bang. We just have to like expend all of our spells essentially. It's the price that we pay. Okay, he used arrows. We have a surviving P.E.K.K.A., so that's great. We also have our super P.E.K.K.A. coming up, which is very, very annoying for him to stop, so we're going to be ready. We're going to cycle Bats early. Okay. We're going to have super P.E.K.K.A. here. We get the well-timed Zap and the Rage as well. P.E.K.K.A.s are going to be healing up. P.E.K.K.A.s are going to be healing up. Yeah, they're healing, she's healing, she's healing. We're gonna get a third P.E.K.K.A. down. We're gonna get a third P.E.K.K.A. down, kind of just for the memes, but also because it's actually a fairly good play when they're healing up Rage. Okay, we're gonna well-time the Zap onto everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, okay, both P.E.K.K.A.s, both P.E.K.K.A.s. Let's go Void as well. My man cannot kill this P.E.K.K.A. How's he gonna stop it? <laughs> That game was crazy! That game was crazy! Oh my gosh! Okay, good game. We're gonna hold that W and see you in the next match. Alright, into our next match here. And man, three P.E.K.K.A.s down in one game is insane. Insane. That is the power of this deck. Granted, it was in Triple Elixir, but if you would have told me that that was real, like... Oh wait, that was a bad Rage. What am I doing? That Rage, like, literally did nothing. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We actually don't take any damage, so it's not the end of the world. We're just down a little bit of Elixir, so... Okay, let's do this. Guards are great against this. I think it might even full counter. Shout out to the guards. Ooh. Yeah, and they're spell resistant, essentially. So, it okay, looks like he's going to be running old, reliable hog EQ. I think I'm just going to drop my P.E.K.K.A. I think it's a good time to do it because he doesn't have hog in cycle. He probably has like a mighty miner or something. So, we're going to, you know, go crazy with our void and our zap. He also has Tesla. So, traditionally, this is a very bad matchup. Um, but the surprise factor of this deck does provide a lot of value. I'm curious if he's going to drop the Mighty Miner. Yeah, he just goes for the Bomb Tower. Might just cycle a Zap, honestly, because, like, I don't know what else I'm going to do here. Like, this is ascent. This is effectively, you know, dead, so it's all good. Don't expect anything from this. I really don't. Cool. These are chill, 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 like I said. No expectations from that push. We're going to do Wall Breakers on one side and just kind of reset there. Now we have our Evo Pack in cycle, so... We're gonna go like this. He doesn't have hog in cycle, so he can't really pressure. Even if he did, we have guards. And now we're gonna see if we can make something happen. I didn't see a mighty miner. Oh, so that's really good for us in terms of he can't really get great DPS. All right, last second arrows here. Remember, he can't really play um, goblins because it heals me up. I'm curious to see what he does with bats. Yeah, okay, ice spirits out of hand. My boy's in trouble now. We're gonna rage here, and I think he's cooked. Right? What does he play? What does he play here? Log's not going to really do anything. You're just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> He's so cooked. He is so cooked. He's so cooked. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Evo Pekka is so good. Evo Pekka is so good. This man's, like, barely scraped my tower. I'm surprised he's not running Mighty Miner, just given the current state of the, the meta. Yeah. Even with that, I mean, this, is, this ain't going to do anything. I didn't even need the bats. Holy moly, if you don't like a uh, hog rider, this might be the deck for you, y'all. Oops. Nice, he still got it. Whew! Whew! 
Okay, let's go arrows here and then guards. And uh, evil zap here. All he has is ice spirit, kind of. We're gonna do this. He can get bomb tower down. We're just gonna rage everything up. Okay. Beautiful. Tough time to not be a P.E.K.K.A. player, that's all I gotta say. GG's to this guy, we missed the firecracker, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna zap and void on the tower. GG's to this guy. Uh, kinda feel bad low-key, but it is what it is. We'll take the dub and we'll see you in the next match. I did our next match here against Jeff. And I hopefully these matches have been, like, convincing enough of a case to play this deck. Or just to play Evo P.E.K.K.A., man. She's just, she's just bonkers. Evo Goblin Cage is one of the best answers in the game to the Evo P.E.K.K.A. Um, so consider putting Goblin Cage in your deck, like if you're not running this deck, if you're running something different. Um, <clears throat> Goblin Cage is a really, really good answer. I've seen many clips of the Goblin Cage just single-handedly countering an Evo P.E.K.K.A. and not healing it up. So I think that card is going to quickly become very, very meta. Wow, he's... What? What? Does he know something that I don't? Did he misclick? Like, I don't understand. That had to be missed, right? Is he cooked here? Nice, those are still connecting. <laughs> that hog rider was so confusing. I think he misclicked that hog. I think he meant to play something else, but minus. Regardless, we took um, so much of his tower. You gotta be careful with the Evo P.E.K.K.A. Like I said, Evo Goblin Cage will kind of just eat it up. So hopefully he just cycles it. Like I'd like to play something that would get him to cycle his Evo Goblin Cage, but. Maybe guards. That'd be great. That's really, really what I want him. Yeah, he's smart enough. He goes for the Ice Wizard. Can I just go Void on it? I know it's not that great of a play. Again, I'm kind of saving. I don't want to go Evo Pekka here just because of um, what I said with the, the cage. It'll give him a really nice, a really easy counter. But she'll probably just go Baby Dragon. So yeah, it's not a big deal. I might just Evo Zap just to cycle. Kind of tame down that Baby D. Evo, oh, wall breakers don't get any damage on the tower against Cannoneer, so it's fine to use them defensively because those wouldn't connect to the tower anyway. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because it's gonna eat up two of those shots. Nice. Okay, good. So now I don't have to worry. Well, I'm playing Evo Pekka on there, Pekka, which is always a good play. And see, guards are so good. Everyone's running Cannoneer. Okay, that's in spell cycle range. So if we are able to protect our our Pekka well, we should be okay here. I'm gonna rage and get wall breakers in front to make sure that you know our Pekka stays 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 alive in this situation. That is the most important thing is like that our Pekka lives. Maybe not lives is the, the right word, but like that their Pekka. Yeah, this is like what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> I was just talking about how important it was. It's okay, we're fine. That was his like big push, so we're all good. We're almost inside a spell cycle range, so we're gonna be ready for a hog rider here. All right, goes for the Pekka. Fair enough. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Bats over on the side. Okay, I think we live. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, very nice. Let's just go for a void here. And we can go arrows, rage. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having four spells. So GG's there. My man almost snatched it back from us, but we're good. We'll hold that W. We'll see you in the next match. All right, into our last match of the video. I've been having so much fun. I really hope you decide to give this deck a try. Like, if, if, if anything that I've shown you has demonstrated how good this deck is. I hope that's the case. Okay, I have a really awkward hand here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna void because my hand is so awk. So awko taco. Okay, he drops the queen. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. All right, watch go wall breakers. I don't even know if that threatens anything. Well, oops. Okay, I thought that would do something. It didn't. Okay, we drop our Pekka. I'm sure he's running Pekka of some regard. Okay, Pekka just gonna sponge all this up. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Kind of an awkward starting hand. We're gonna go bats right away. Hopefully he'll play like a spell or something and just won't have to worry about it. Okay, no, he doesn't. Yeah, it goes for Pekka of its own. That's fine, we have guards. I'm not too upset about the situation. If he had Evo Pekka right now, I'd maybe be quaking in my boots, but it's just the normal Pekka for now. So we can just go like this, and this will totally counter it, so I don't really have to worry about it. Even with arrows, he could go Rage, though, so we'll see. Nah, we're just going to cycle Zap here. Yeah, we're chilling like a villain. I'm going to go like this, maybe to catch the Miner. Didn't, so we're going to we're gonna pressure just because he spent that Miner. 
We're gonna be ready with our spells here. Have the rage hovered. It's rage. Maybe he can't uh, get the ability off. Ooh, he barely gets the ability off. I was hoping he wouldn't, but that's still like almost. Yeah. <laughs> that's still almost. Yeah. Never mind. He's dead. Let's go zap. Should take care of the queen. No. Let's shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot her. Nice. Okay. Really, really good situation for us. Um. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He just went for the minor. We were able to get like a crazy punish off. That's the power of this deck. Now we're in spell cycle range, so just want to be calm, cool, and collected. Uh, don't want to overcommit too much. Okay. I'm just going to cycle a void here. It should take down the tower and finish off the Valve. Well, not finish off the Valve, but do like some decent damage to Valve. Yeah, there's the Evo Pekka. No surprise. Uh, well, guards are going to be key here. Guards are going to be key here. And Rage. A lot of things are going to be key in this interaction. We're going to get guards down. Okay. We're going to have a Rage. Arrows. Zap. You just need to get this Pekka off the board. Okay, Pekka's down. That's huge. Everything else is like, you can kind of survive it, I feel like. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, how did we defend all of that? Oh my gosh. We're going to give him the good game. We're going to go for the Evo Pekka in the pocket. Maybe he's uh, going to throw in the towel. This, this card is absolutely bonkers. Oh my god. We're about to get another tower right here. <laughs> GG's to this guy, and we'll, we'll see you in the outro. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you wanna take a screenshot and I hope you do. Please give this deck a try. I've been saying it all video. It's so much fun. You saw how dominant it was. That's in League 7 too. People don't know how to defend this deck. So give it a try. Uh, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Just know how much I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.